everyone. It's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. We are going to have so much fun today. In this video, it's time to decorate and embellish this lovely folio that we made yesterday, or if you followed along yesterday, but in my last video. So, hopefully, you were able to assemble your folio if you're crafting along with me. And now we're just gonna have a lot of fun. Again, this is the prototype, the, the sample that I made so you guys could get a sense and an idea of what it looks like finished. We will use some fun fibers and some pom-pom ribbons and some other ribbon and things to make the one we put together on camera, hopefully just as cute. So I am using my newest paper kit that's available on Etsy. This one is called Retro Christmas. So you can buy the digital kit and then print it and use it as you wish. I also do have a print and ship option uh, if that's of interest to you. So the links to my Etsy shop and the kit and everything will be in the description of the video. And my dogs are saying good morning. I'm not quite sure what's going on in um, in their in their land, but we will craft on and hope they're not too distracting. Now I am gonna wait to put. I love that pom pom ribbon, and we'll probably use some on this one unless something changes. But I'm gonna do the embellishing like with on the actual folio with the chunkier ribbons and fibers at the end, just because it is a little bit easier. So I did a little bit off camera. Uh, I cut and inked some, not everything, but a bunch of the pieces of ephemera that go with the kit. These are a whole stack. There's a whole page of different Christmas quotes, words, um, like from songs, those types of things. It's a Wonderful Life is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. So every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Um, you have to, if, if my kids told you about my obsession, um, I used to make them, well, it's still kind of a tradition, but now that they're grown, it doesn't happen every year. But I used to make them watch it with me every year. And we would, um, as one of our holiday traditions. So there you go. Uh, last year, my husband surprised me with, they were doing a, like a one night run in Ashland, Virginia, at this little theater. And he got tickets for all the kids and for me, and we all went together and it was wonderful. So that was a big, a, a big to do. And I had a lot of fun. So before we get started, I am going to show you some of the pockets that come with the kit and the different shapes. And there's also a fun freebie where you get two little envelopes. And so I'm going to really quick just show you guys how to score and fold these. It's not hard, but they they, I didn't print them with lines um, intentionally. I, I wanted to not have um, a distinct line or edge. So I'm just going to show you really quick. So this one is actually a, a, a nice deep pocket and it just has a curved top to it. It's a little different. And all I do to get these folded really nice and neat is I use a ruler and some kind of scoring tool. You can use a bone folder or you know, scoring tool that comes with some of the different um, scoreboards and things. You can use the back of a X-Acto knife even. Like don't use the sharp side of the blade, but use this side and you can score that way. So just don't press too hard and it won't cut through. So anyway, grab something if you wanna do this. And then I just look at the image or, or at where I've cut it out and I'm gonna go, right here and right here, just a little smidge off of those two points because of the thickness of my scoring tool. And I'm just going to make a score. And then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do the same way on this side of the flap. 
So you, you really don't need the lines, you just need to have to understand how the pocket or the envelope works. Now I go ahead and fold these two in because I find this last score is easier if I flip it over and use these flaps to make sure I get a straight line. I think just because it's a little longer. You can do it on the other side if you want to, but this is how I do it. So I'm just showing you really quick how to do that. And then we're gonna fold that one up. So now we have this fun little kind of chunky pocket. So it can ink and then glue the flaps down onto a page. So we'll use that somewhere in our journal. And then here, this is one of the, the envelope freebies. There's two on a sheet and you can get these on Buy Me A Coffee. Oh, those are the same one here. And then there's one with a tree and a little Christmas house. So we'll do one of these. And same idea, but we've got a score that's gonna go here. We have a score that's gonna go here, so that's two, and then one here, three, one here, four. So this one is, you know, has a little bit more scoring because it is an envelope, but same premise. Use your ruler, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here, but. There you go, you're gonna score those two. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold those, make sure everything's looking good, and it is. And then I am going to score so that my envelope, that's gonna be the flap to my envelope, and then this is the bottom of the envelope. And again, I just find it easy to flip it over, but. It's not hard, you just wanna stick with it. So there's an envelope, isn't that cute? And you can put a little Velcro dot there if you want to. Um, so even, you know, if you just wanna get a, a sense of the papers and what they're looking like, the freebie's a good choice. Okay, here's another shape pocket that comes in the full kit. And this one, it's a little bit, it's a little bit harder. Um, but it's, again, not hard. So I'm going to use my grid lines to line it up, make sure everything is nice and even. And the t my score line is going to be right at this tip of this angle. And it's hard to kind of tell where it should be on the other side. And that's where I'm using my score, my grid lines, to make sure I'm just keeping my ruler nice and straight. So it is, and I'm going to score and we should be okay. Let's look at it and see. There we go. And then we've got a score here and a score here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's get it nice and even. And you can do the white side or the pattern side. It doesn't really matter. Score this side of the pocket. And now, you can see where you want that bottom score to be very easily. Okay, there we go. Very cute, kind of um, a triangle shaped chunky pocket. I like that one. And then I think this is the last shape that I put in this kit. We'll see if we find another one, I'll show you that one. This one has this pretty scalloped um, edge, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just going to lay it down. We're gonna go to the tip of this angle, lay our ruler straight. And again, I'm coming away from the tip just a smidge to account for the thickness of my score line. Okay, it's gonna be the top. And then one more, and it's right here that I wanna come to. Ooh. Score. We'll see how we're looking. Oh, it's cute. And then just the bottom flap. So I hope that these don't confuse you guys and you know, you're not frustrated by it, but they really are, um, 
just little pockets that you can fold up and then use in your journals. You can use it in the folio, whatever. The way these journal papers print, I'm probably going to do a more traditional journal with these as well because I think you can't have enough journals. That's just um, what I subscribe to. So if we need some more pockets and things, we will certainly pull some more out and I'll do that again. I want to think, if you guys remember when I was cutting out these large pockets, I ended up with this fun triangle. And I'm trying to decide if there is a place that this is going to look fun to give us an additional kind of tuck spot or something. And I haven't decided yet. This one is going to flip open like this. I don't know. I guess I could cover up even one of these um one of these for some reason it's speaking to me to go this way or this way not not the triangle this way um i just i haven't decided i don't know perhaps i think it would look i think it would look okay even though if i cover up this tree a little bit here and it's just going to give it a different design element if you guys think it looks weird you don't have to do this of course but i just kind of like having that other angle and I'm gonna use it sort of like just a, not a full pocket, but just a tuck spot, maybe for a larger piece of some kind of journaling paper or something to put in there. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna put in there, but I'm gonna glue this down because I really wanna use this triangle. So you can go back to the video one if you wanna see how he ended up with this triangle, but it was making the two large pockets for the inside front and back covers. I'm doing a fairly, um, probably almost a quarter inch wide strip of glue there. Just, you know, I want it on here. So the glue kind of came up to about right here. And we'll see. I could have added glue here and just made it kind of a shallow pocket up in here. And I can always go back later if I decide I want to do that. We'll just see how it comes together. All right. Interesting triangle. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. We are at the beginning. And I think I'm going to use one of these pockets. I have these out for a specific reason. We'll maybe do them next. I'm going to use one of these pockets to go on this first flap. And if you're making one of these folios with other papers, not with the kit, just make yourself a, a pocket. So this one measures, once it's folded up, it's four inches by like three and a half inches if you want something that's of a similar size. And it can be straight across. You can just use a little circle punch to add a notch. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And it will still look wonderful. Oh, don't want to glue, glue mine closed. Now these pockets, when they have these flaps like this, instead of like when I show you guys super simple ones in videos, that you just add glue to three sides and, and stick down. These are a little bit roomier. And there's pros and cons to that. The, the pro is you've, you've got lots of room in there. <laughs> and think things will fit and, and look, look nice in there. But they also are looser. So things can kind of fly out or not stay in quite as snug. This is a very large pocket, but it didn't have flaps. It just has glue on these two sides, these three sides. I did the top as well, but it's a little more snug. So things to just think about, okay? Now, off camera, I also did make, I used, there's a whole sheet of just these rectangular journaling cards. And I went ahead and mounted them on some craft card stock and added a little piece of ribbon or twine or something to each one. So as we go through, I'll probably be putting these in some pockets. I'm going to set them out of my way, though. And then I also went ahead and put a little piece of ribbon on those two tags. What I am looking for, ha, I'm looking for these quotes, thinking I want something to add to this pocket. 
it just feels like it needs something right here. And sometimes what I'll do as well when that happens is I will grab some of the off cuts I have from some of the papers and I might cut one of the ornaments out or there's another triangle, um, a star, something like that, um, or punch something just to have a little something, something right there. So I think I'm going to get this punch just because it was the first one I reached and I'm going to punch out some poinsettias, 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 and Let me see I definitely want to I don't mind if I have something hanging off this way a little bit I was thinking I could even do something kind of cutesy I did not um, print on both sides of this so I could always mount this to something if I'm gonna have it hang over Let me trim it closer to the words um, Again, use the papers you have, or if you're using this kit, any way you want. Yours does not have to look like mine, okay? All right, I'm just, I'm thinking like a little cluster here is where I'm trying to go with this. Um, I love this gold, I don't know, twine ribbon. I've used it. Um, I've had a, a couple of spools of it. I got a few years ago um, when I was making some uh, bulk, making some Christmas bookmarks for a craft fair. And I still haven't used it all. But it's very versatile. And um, very thin and dainty. And I just like it. So we're going to stick a piece of that down. So I'm just gonna use a circle with some poinsettias. I'm gonna put the, it's the most wonderful time of the year, little quote card. I'm keeping it on the flap, but just off of the pocket, just a touch. And then I'm gonna stick this down, which I would normally do just with a little drop of glue and then sit here and let it dry. But I don't wanna sit here and let it dry, so I'm gonna cut, which was not a good choice to do this to my favorite scissors. I wanted to get just a portion of that glue dot. So don't do that, y'all. That was not a smart move. Just tear it apart with your fingers. Um, just to get a little piece of it on here. And then it will hold this little bow, keep it from unraveling, but also stick it down. It's a little, um, I think it'll be okay. It's a little bit bigger piece than I meant to use. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's not sticking. Just making sure it's not sticking to the paper. <laughs> Okay, so in this pocket, I'm probably gonna put something a little bit taller, so we'll make something to go in that pocket in just a minute. And one fun thing that I did on the original too was I used my whale punch and I did a little, a little tab. So I'm gonna just use part of the sort of abstract design of the paper and we'll make a little whale tab. Now again, if you don't have this punch, you can make a little tab by using a, uh, just cut a rectangle and fold it. And if you want to then angle the edges or just leave it as a rectangle, you could do a couple of circles. There's all kinds of choices. So don't not, not um, put a tab on yours if you want one, just because you don't have this punch. But there's lots of punches out there if you are in the market for one. <laughs> okay. I do think it's important though to realize that even with just a pair of scissors, you can do really fun things. The tools sometimes do make your life a little bit easier, but you still can do quite a bit. Okay. I am probably going to add some more pockets and things, and I'm just sort of wanting to, to flip through and get some of the larger pieces decorated. This is where I put a tag and a, a, a pocket and a quote there. 
All right, I just added one of these here. I'm just, I'm just trying to kind of remind myself what I did on each of these. So, and then this is my page that opens up. All right, let's go back to the pocket that we already folded. That will look cute here. So we'll put this one here. And I'm just inking around it really quick. And we'll add this pocket. And where I think you can really start making yours be unique and in your own is where you add all your extra embellishments. If you want to use, um, if you don't even want to use the Christmas quotes that came with this kit, you, you can, you have lots of options. You could, um, handwrite some words or some notes, just lots of different things. Okay. I'm gonna stop right here for a second because I, I don't know if you guys remember, I said I have these two pieces of paper sitting here intentionally and I wanna make sure I don't accidentally use them for something else. So we're gonna go to the back of our folio and then open it up. And we glued this flap down to make two little pockets and then we made a nice big top load pocket. Now on the, and I brought the glue up so that it doesn't stick all the way in. It, and I did that on purpose. You could have brought, done your glue just to the bottom and then this piece would have slid all the way in. On my prototype, I installed a pocket here just because of the pattern of the paper that I chose, but I don't wanna cover up that ornament. I like it. So I am going to make a flip that slides in out of these two pieces of paper. So I didn't print these on both sides. So I'm gonna glue them together and then we're gonna fold them. So let me give you the measurements that I chose. And I just cut this from two of the journal pages. These are four inches by eight inches. And I was just gonna show you the whole process. So I'm just gonna glue them together. And I'm using my wet white glue this is the Line Co brand PVA glue in a little dispenser bottle. Looks like this. Oh, goodness. If you need some supplies, you can visit my Amazon storefront to see some of the junk journaling supplies I use. This is a great chance for me to also use my glue stick to get us some glue down on here quick. Um, the Amazon storefront is an affiliate link, which means Amazon pays me a few pennies if you end up making a purchase. It's no cost to you. And um, I don't even think you guys know it's happening. It happens in the background, but um, I'm supposed to disclose that. But thank you for clicking on my links and helping my business. Um, no pressure. You don't need to make any purchases, but if you do, it does help me a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Again, I didn't glue it perfectly, so we're just gonna trim off this little piece of white right here, not worry about it. I think it's pretty close everywhere else. Again, no matter how hard you try to cut your papers to the exact same size, it's okay if you need to trim off just a touch. There we go. Now, this is a little bit um, soft because that glue stick is still drying, but that's okay. I am going to ink around the edges. And then I'm going to score this and fold it over to go into that pocket. And I haven't decided yet if I want the contrast of having um, the kind of this floral and fruit on the front and then when you lift it up, you see kind of almost the mirror image, right? That's kind of fun of the ornament. Or if I want the ornament here, I think I liked it this way. Okay, so I'm going to double check how deep my pocket is. And that is going to help me decide where I am going to score my my card because I'm gonna make a little flap and I need it to 
be at, you know, the flap to be at least this size. I can make the flap bigger. It doesn't have to go all the way in the pocket. So, um, I'm going to use the image to help me decide because I know I have plenty of space. This is going to make sense in just a minute. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to use my grid to make sure I've got my paper nice and straight before I score. And I want to see about this much of the image flapping on the front. So, I am going to come down three, about three and three quarter inches. So, one, two, three and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to make a little score just to make this easy. This is now two layers of cardstock. And I'm just gonna fold it over. And my top flap is a little bit um, longer than the back flap. But you're gonna see how this is gonna fit in here now. And I'm just gonna slide it in. And it's gonna sit like that and flip open. Now, if I've been thinking about that mirror image idea, I could have made my flap even shorter. And now that I've inked it, I don't think I'm gonna do that, and that might have looked better. But again, look at your images, you can decide, and it'll stay in there and look cute. Now, I'm gonna add some fun ribbon and decorations and things to this. Uh, to make it even more special. So let's go ahead and decorate it. Why not, right? I'm gonna pull out one of our quotes. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, how about have yourself, I'm gonna make it, yeah. We'll make it like a tab on here. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, your troubles will be out of sight. Yay. Okay, let's mount it on, this is just some craft card stuck I have sitting on my desk. I think I'm gonna trim. I, I left a little bit of the um, the rectangle a little bit larger so that like if you wanted to add an eyelet and a piece of ribbon or you want to do something that wasn't too smushed up close to the letters, but you can always trim them a little bit smaller if you want to. And I'm trimming mine so that it will work with this lovely piece of craft card stock I have here that I'm going to layer on it. So let's do that. So these types of projects, you know, I have some people, you know, say, you know, they're so involved. Um, they're not hard. They do just take a little bit of time because there's so many little pieces and pretty things that I think make them extra special. So whenever, you know, I have kind of a stuffed folio like this, um, I, I do the tutorials different ways. Sometimes I just show you the construction and then kind of the finished prod, prod, product, right? <clears throat> this time I decided I wanted to show you some of the different possibilities with some of the different pieces of the kit um, in case that's of interest to you to see a little more of how I, even though these are going to all look, both these two folios are going to look similar because they're made with the same paper, they're going to um, be different because I used different patterns um, in different places. So I just think that's kind of fun. And there really is so many different things you can do with with the images and the, the, the different pieces. And that's true, I think, with all paper kits, right? I might look at it and go, oh, that would be a fun, you know, um, a fun journaling card. And somebody else says, oh, I'm going to make a little mini journal out of that. And, you know, it all, it all comes together. Okay, I decided to just use some two-sided tape to make that stick well. And we're going to put this here. And it definitely needs, um, I'm going to add, I used this particular, um, what is this? Fiber yarn, whatever, fancy yarn, a lot in the first one. And I just thought it made it look like there was a little bit of snow here and there. 
So I'm going to do the same thing. It's a little funky when you're trying to like tie a bow because of all of these extra little strings. Sometimes it acts a little weird, but I like it and it makes me happy and it just gives it a little poof, a little poof. So again, I'm going to go to my go-to glue dots. And what I do with here is I kind of let it stick to all those little extra little fibers too. And then I know it's got a lot of, a lot of goop. Cute, easy, fun, love it. Okay, let's go back now <laughs> inside the front and pick some more some more things to do. Let's add a pocket or something fun here. Let me see. What do I already have folded that might work? I don't think this works. It's too much of the same pattern. This is an envelope. How about this? This will bring some of the blue from this page over to this page. So we're going to, again, I'm going to show you how to score it. It's not hard. Go right here to this tip. Make sure my ruler's straight. And we're gonna score this up. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you'll be notified when I drop new content. Currently, I've been dropping things about every day. I know that's probably gonna slow down as we head towards the holidays. I just have a lot going on, but we'll see. Um, that That's kind of been my upload schedule, but you definitely um, will have new content from me multiple times a week. And um, give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what you like. Um, and as again, one of my lovely viewers shared with me, Tim Holtz has a saying, if you can't find anything, if you, if you don't have anything nice to say, find something nice to say. Um, so I, and I don't mind when you guys have ideas or suggestions like, oh, will you will you show us how to do this or a way to to do that? A different way would be this. That's great. I don't have a problem. That is when people are just kind of ugly. So um, I welcome nice, constructive, happy comments. That's why I craft is because it makes me happy. And I appreciate you guys joining me. Okay. I think I'm going to put this one a little bit to this side, even though it's covering that up. We have that fun little fruit cluster on another page, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, glue. Let's glue this one down and then decorate it a little bit. And then we're going to make some, a little, a few taller pieces of ephemera. I didn't put very tall pieces of ephemera in the kit. And that's okay because we have all these pretty pages we can use to make it out of. Um, but I did put in some deep pockets. I'll think about that next time. <laughs> See what I'm doing. Pam, think. Think what you're doing. Um, all right. So city. Oh, yeah. This is silver bells. I love this too. Silver bells. Um, I may just pop this one. That was something that I was doing Um Ah, here they are, using some pop dots with a couple of the quotes on the other one, or at least one of them, just to give it a little more of a fancy look. This is kind of a large piece, so I'm going to put in a couple of extra. A lot of times I'll just do the four corners or like one right here in the middle, but this is kind of a larger rectangle, and I don't want it to get flattened down weird. So all these are, if you haven't worked with these, are those little kind of, they look like little sponges with adhesive on both sides and that you can then pull up little dots. There's all different kinds out there. Um, and I used to use these a lot like in my card making days. It just gives a little, something a little extra, like makes it look cute. Okay. And again, I'm going to come back in with some ribbon and some fun things here soon. Let's see. What a blue. 
Um, this is Let It Snow. This one I'm just gonna glue down. I'm gonna overlap the pocket again. I'm gonna bring it out this way. I like the size of this folio. I hope I'm staying on camera for you guys. Um, it's a little different, the orientation and the size, and I was wanting something a little different. So there we go. All right, we've got these two pockets here, this pocket here. Okay, let's do something with this fun, fun flip right here. I have, I don't have too many of these pages printed extra right now. So, got these ornaments again and these trees again. I don't know how I ended up with so many of these printed, but I am going to use this sliver right here to make us a side load pocket to put some tags in that can kind of hang out. And that's what I did in the prototype as well. So I want a pocket that measures, um, that our folio again is eight inches tall. So I want a pocket that is like seven and seven eighths, just a smidge under eight inches by two inches. And I'm gonna do that on my big cutter. That's my stand up station. So we're gonna cut a two inch strip and just a teeny slimmer so that it fits on that eight inch section. There we go. And I'm gonna attach it. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that pink just because I'm enjoying seeing the different colors through. And we're gonna attach this as a side load pocket on this flap. And I want it to open on this side, so I'm gonna hold it on that side. And we'll add the glue to three sides. And I'm gonna do what I did um, on one of those others, is I'm gonna do a, a line of glue here, not there, so that we have two pockets instead of one great big one. I've got lots of large pockets on this folio. So we're gonna do that. All right, we'll give that time to dry. We've got quite a few of these side loads, but I like it and I kind of like how it um, brings it together. I didn't really do, I did this one flip on this one that'll flip up like this, but I didn't do a lot of top flips in this flippy flap that I know, like I normally do. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll put some things in here. Add a little ink to the pink. <laughs> okay, now on this side, Let's do, how about, which pocket do we want to do? Let's do this pocket. We've already used this shape once, but let's do it again. And now that I'm in the middle of crafting, I'm realizing I could have folded a few of these off camera, but that's okay. You guys have a fast forward button if you don't want to watch me do this. And if you're crafting with me, it may give you time to fold some, some things or cut some little pockets out for your project. I think a folio like this, I was thinking about some of the other holiday papers I've used recently. I think my um, Santa and Friends kit would work because of those large images on the journaling pages. I think a folio like this out of that paper would also be a super cute. I'm gonna put this one off center, I think. Um, and then I was also thinking about some of the papers I've used by Joey Cardmaker, uh, the Christmas Folk, and I think it was Yuletide Cheer. Um, a lot of the large papers in his kits have that kind of journaling space in them. Don't wanna off, yeah, I'm gonna off center it and we'll put some kind of decoration here. Um, but I, I do think they would work too. There's so much fun ephemera in those kits and pockets and different things. You could really make a fun folio with that. And you could definitely, I mentioned this in the first video, but you could definitely make this out of scrapbook paper too. Like get one of those fun scrapbook paper kits. That would be so cute. All right, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. Um, all right, this is the Twas the Night Before Christmas quote. I think I'm going to turn it sideways. I don't mind things being sideways. Some people do. If this bothers you, don't turn your sideways. 
keep your text going the right way if it bothers you, but I'm gonna just, I didn't wanna cover up as much of the picture, so I'm gonna do that. Now we have this weird tuck spot that I put in. Okay, I think we're getting there, guys. So fun. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the front for a minute. And on our original, what did I do? Um, it had the big ornaments on it. I just put one of the quotes here. Oh, I cut out an ornament and put that there in the corner. That looks cute to give you all the different ornaments and some fuzzy stuff. So let's see what we think would be cute here. I think using one of the ornaments would be cute on this one as well. So let's plan to do that. I'll fussy cut that out, but I, I also want to make, I told y'all we were gonna make some taller ephemera, at least one, to show you guys, like one larger, more of a, maybe a bookmark size. So I am going to tear this paper um, right here. And we'll use this to make something fun with in a minute. And then this piece, I am going to quickly cut out this ornament to put on the front of our folio somewhere. We'll see once I have it cut out where we think it looks best. And then I'm probably going to use some of that um, gold twine I already showed you to decorate this with. I think it'll be cute, but since I'm not sure yet what I want to do, I'm going to cut it like that. So we have this piece of paper here as well if we decide we need it. Not that I couldn't glue it back together. You guys know that's what my kids love to say about what I what I do with my crafting. And so they're like, yeah, she tears paper up and glues it back together. And... Um, I think that's funny and I love it. Okay, so do I want to have it? Um, ooh, I just came up with something. Again, the other one I left a little loose. You know, I only glued a portion of it down just to make it, you know, look kind of like a dangle. And what I'm wondering is, let's see what's on this side. Can we attach it? by folding this over, this is fun, just a little bit like that. I'll probably glue all of this down and then we'll still add a fun um, gold bow on there. All right, but before I glue anything down, I'm just gonna keep looking because I definitely believe I would like um, a quote on here. How about, um, Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas, if only in my dreams. I'll be home for Christmas. Um, it's a little bit large, but I do like it. Do I want to cover up this little walkway here is the question. Okay, I do think with some embellishing and some more ribbons, that will make me happy. I also want to think about, I have this pom-pom trim. Huh. Again, um, if you guys are looking for any of the supplies I used, I'll have um, my Amazon store linked. I may go ahead and like link like this pom-pom trim and a couple of those things specifically for you too, just so it's easy to find, just in case you need some. <laughs> I've got red and white that's kind of like this and then I got a different style of green which is super cute too that I used in a, another project here recently I'm not sure this green goes with this paper but the red and the white looks pretty cute all right so I'm trying to decide if I want the trim on the outside of my cover or if I want to do it like I did on the prototype and attach my pom-pom to the inside see all these decisions that you make this one I did it on the inside so that when you open oh it's not even on the cover it's on a different page altogether you just see it <laughs> oh goodness 
I have to think about that. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that with this one too, so that I'm not interfering with my ornament too much. All right, where's that gold trim? This would look cute if I could figure out a way. I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time playing with this, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just warning you now, if you're not interested in how the ornament turns out, go on, fast forward. I'm just trying to decide, is it worth it or is just like a really nice bow on there better? So let's tie a bow using a double, double strand. And I do this with my really skinny twine all the time too, just to, so you see it just a little bit more. It's a little fiddly. You have to kind of be careful how you pull it, but see how cute the bow looks? Super worth it. Okay. So I know I'm gonna have this like right here. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not gonna overthink this, especially being on camera. Okay, so now I may decide later that I have to glue more of the ornament down, but right now I'm gonna do it this way. And then we're gonna flip it over. It doesn't really need to come over the back side, but why not? <laughs> I just, I really don't want it to get caught on something and tear, but I do like that flippy. I'm going to add more glue just to keep our ornament safe. Because I, already it's large. It's bigger than the one I put on the front of the other kit. You know what? How about some of these? That way it'll give that illusion, but I don't have to worry about the ornament too much. Let's do that. Because I would, I would in the middle of the night be thinking that ornament's going to fall off or tear and then you're going to be sad. And this way, I won't have to get up in the middle of the night and fix it. <clears throat> I also don't want to encourage you guys to design something that I know is probably not a good idea before we even get started. Okay, but this is going to look cute and give the illusion, I think, of the movement. And if you don't have these little dots, just, um, just glue it down. It'll be fine. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to stick this. I'm trying to decide where, but maybe right there. How fun! So again, look at the papers, look at the designs, find some different things that you think are cute or might work. I've got a lot of repeating patterns in this particular kit, um, a lot of uh, mirrored images in the kit. So hopefully you can find some things that make you happy. All right, I'm not sure if this is working for me. And none of these are, are what I wanted to say. Oh wait, here's my, the pink doesn't quite work for me. Sorry guys. And I did walking in a winter wonderland on the front of the other one. We're gonna go right back to this one. I'm gonna stop worrying about it and I'm just gonna glue it down. And usually when I do that, I'm perfectly happy with it. It really is okay. Get it straight, there we go. All right, I definitely want to put some, maybe I'll call this floss. Is this like floss? Now the way I did this on the prototype is I put down a thin strip, maybe this width of two-sided tape and then put a couple of layers down and it stuck enough that it wasn't super sticky and you have to decide your tolerance for things like that. Um, I can't feel the sticky. Um, let me show you guys. You know, I don't feel it, so I'm okay with it. But, you know, if you don't want to know that that adhesive is potentially exposed, except where it's just covered up by this um, 
yarn, then you can use, uh, what can you use? You could use your Fabrifix glue and be patient, which I am not. Um, I do use my Fabrifix glue. I just don't usually use it on camera that much. I know some people, that is like their kind of go-to glue. And more power to y'all. I just, it makes my fingers sticky. And um, not my favorite, not my favorite thing. All right, this one's gonna get like, three layers and this is kind of what I meant all these little fibers get stuck into that adhesive tape and it's not even sticky because they're covering it all up I guess um and then you can see a little bit of a gap there but that's okay really press it in there good so I just threw that on the floor, y'all. My garbage can's on the other side, and I just went, ah! It's okay. All right. And then I did tie a bow and kind of stuck it down. Like I said, bows are a little challenging with this particular thread because you're grabbing all of these little extras and not necessarily the um, main thread. And so it can be a little annoying trying to tie it. But again, worth it in the end, I think. So there we go. Cute, yes. Success. You can see the little bow in there. I'm just gonna stick it down. Maybe a little sideways like that so it looks like a little fluff because I already have a bow over here. All right. I hope you guys are having fun and um, are enjoying my little rambles as we go. Okay, I have not printed the papers that I'm going to put in here, but I'm going to do something very similar. I didn't think about it when I was prepping that I did um, for these pockets. This is the back one, so let me show you the back one. I just put in um, it's like journaling paper, but I printed it on both sides, or, or it's extra paper that you'll have, or whoever has the folio to work with. These things. So, um, I didn't prepare any, and I should have, but I didn't. So here, I'll just take the ones. <laughs> it won't matter. We'll take the ones from this folio so that you guys get that full effect. And we'll have those to slide in. Which one do I want here? I think I'm gonna put this house right there. So this is the back, this is, did I just decorate the back? Guys, I decorated the back of our folio. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my goodness, well that's okay. It's okay to have the back decorated, but now the front needs to be decorated. Holy cow, Pam. Um, all right, and this is where, again, I'm on video, and I have the option of crying and not, not posting the video, or I can say, we can overcome everything, and it's all right, and we'll decorate the front, too. So we'll do that in a minute, though, because I'm a little frustrated with myself. So let's make that tall tag that I mentioned. So I'm just going to use a portion of one of the pages <laughs> while I regroup here. This is almost five and a half inches wide. And again, it's that eight inches tall. And I've done this with other patterns and shown you guys, but I'm just gonna fold it over. And then I am going to fold this piece over just to kind of meet. It can overlap, depends on how wide you want it. Doesn't matter. And it's gonna be a fun tag. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ink this edge here, because it's gonna overlap. Which, which way do I like it better? Um, I like it with this edge overlapping. And we're gonna glue it together. I'm probably gonna trim it up. I'm not gonna leave it this tall, but I'm gonna glue it together first to give me an idea. So the big the big portion, I'm using my Yoohoo glue stick, my favorite glue stick. And then this flap that I'm gonna glue down, I'm gonna use the wet white glue. 
just to make sure I get it right along that edge. And it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I am going to see, let's see how wide this ended up being. I just eyeballed it. It's a little too wide for my fancy, for my fancy tag trimmer. So we will cut the top with this template that I use. And I've shown you guys this before, it's just a pretend credit card, but you could use an old, old gift card or something. Um, and I just randomly cut the corners and then pick the one you want to use. I cut it off and then flip it over and it will make your corners match. And I just keep this on my desk. And depending on the tag, will depend on, or you know what I'm trying to do, if I want the corners to match, that will help me. And then I'm gonna get out my paper trimmer. My watch is telling me that I did not go for my walk this morning. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm kind of just eyeballing it, but I know somebody's gonna wanna know the measurements. Let's make this a six and a half inch tall tag. All right, so it's six and a half inches. And with my folding, it's almost two and three quarters inches, not quite. But I like the size and it's going to look lovely in one of those deeper pockets inside our folio. So again, there's all the, the little journaling cards and ephemera and pieces in the kit, but then you can also take the pages and make yourself, goes this way, some fun pieces to put in, okay? I am kind of some ribbon here. Let's, let's punch a little hole. I'm using my slot punch. You could use just a hole punch, a round one if you want. And I pulled out a bunch of my Christmas ribbons. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Okay. I have been crafting for, I'm not going to tell y'all how many decades. So I do have a lot of supplies that I have accumulated through the years. I have a very sweet husband. Second husbands, in my opinion, are the best. <laughs> Mine is. Um, but I was like, I keep talking about how I've got to clean up my craft room and I'm running out of space because I have too much stuff. And he's like, oh, but honey, you have extra bedrooms in a hallway and, you know, the garage. And he's so sweet. So, all right, again, we could add tags, a quote, we could keep going with that, but I think that's sweet, just like it is with that ribbon there. And let's stuff some of these that I pre-made off camera. And again, this is just that sheet. There's eight of them of journaling cards, and I backed them on some card stock. I'm going to put this one here because I like that ribbon to the side. I backed them. They're a little short for this pocket. Again, I could have brought some glue up and made the pocket not quite so deep knowing the size of my ephemera pieces, but I definitely think I need something a little taller. We'll put that in there for that pocket. Let's see. What have we got here? And these are tall too. Okay, but then I have all these fun side loads. And these are great sizes for that. Look at that. Fun, right? And with the other one, I decorated the page some and kind of closed up this pocket a little bit using, just using one of the quotes. And I think I'm going to do that only because I don't really need that much real estate. Don't, don't close yours up if you've got things you definitely know you want to put in there. But it kind of gives it a different look. Let's me use another Christmas quote and I'm gonna stick that in there because I like the idea of that ornament and the ornament being together and it's got the ribbon so it won't slide all the way in. Let's see. This one might keep it from sliding in too. I need some taller ephemera. That's what I gotta work on for this kit um, or for myself. Ha, we can definitely make this work as another fun piece and it is printed on both sides so i'm gonna fold this edge over and you can just glue or use a piece of washi tape right um if you want to have a piece that gives you that kind of accent 
on the side, which is what I was wanting there. And if I had slowed down, I probably would have inked that edge before I folded it over or glued it down, but that's okay. Just a touch. And this is gonna look really cute in there. I think I want it to be a little bit shorter than the folio itself. So I don't have to worry about it getting in my way. Look at that. Very cute. And we can, of course, add some more of this flossy if we want to. I can't believe I decorated the back of my folio. Let's add a fun pop or tag. And I'm going to let that kind of flip over like that. I could put it underneath, but it kind of holds this down a little bit too. Let's add a quote here. And again, if you want to pop it up, cover up that pretty ornament. Oh, well. Sometimes it's hard to know where I want to add the extras. Okay, we're back to the beginning and to the front. We are going to make it happen, people. All right, let's first, because this impacts the way the front looks, let me show you how I'm gonna lay down this pom-pom. And again, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use one that's a little bit more narrow. Close this up for a second. Okay, we're getting serious. We're gonna add a piece of tape right along here. And I am gonna make sure I burnish it down really good. And then we're going to add the pom-pom ribbon. Now this is the 1 8 inch width, two-sided width, width, um, two-sided tape. I think um, half inch is probably a little too much. Okay. And then we're going to peel it up. And I usually don't cut it until I'm ready, until I get it stuck down, but you could measure it and then cut it. But obviously we need eight inches. This will stretch. I don't want mine stretched out too much. So just going right there to the top. And I am going to put a drop of my um, fray check on here simply because this does tend to fray, and I don't want it to unwind on me. Okay, now, see how cute that already made the front look, even though it's not on the front? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to decorate? I think we're gonna get to use the every time a bell rings on the front. Oh, we haven't done anything with these. And I was gonna show you, um, I didn't print on both sides, but these are really cute to glue back to back <laughs> and just then add ribbons and tuck inside a pocket. I think they're very sweet. This is gonna look really cute on the front of my journal though, just like that. I'm gonna add this quote to this pink. These tags kind of have these round ends. La, la, la. That cute. Where do I wanna put it? Maybe here. We'll cover up a little bit of the house and it'll be okay. Since I put that fancy ornament. <laughs> now, now both sides of our folio are absolutely beautiful. And you know, these would be cute pockets. I'll show you that in just a second. I really think that would be a cute pocket. Um, more floss? Sure, why not, right? Let's do it. Again, if you guys don't want to watch me lay this down again, since I already did it on the back, you can fast forward. But I'm going to keep going. Because this is what happens when I junk journal and craft. I just keep going until I think I have plenty. You know, um, sometimes it's hard to stop because there's so many ideas and fun things to do. But this is how I craft. Oh gosh, there we go. So um, I'm trying to think of anything fun or interesting happening in my life to tell you guys about. And um, it's not that I don't have a great life, it's that I do. It's like 
what to share, what to share, right? Um, oh, I will tell y'all, this isn't like fun. This is um, so that y'all can maybe um, keep him in your thoughts. And if you pray in your prayers, my sweet, sweet uncle, um, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned him, my Uncle RV. Um, his wife, Sally, passed away. Um, he was married to my dad's sister, Margaret. That was his first wife. And that was my Aunt Margaret that I knew my whole life. <laughs> um, but he was fortunate after Aunt Margaret passed away to find Sally and to have someone he loves in his life. Um, and Uncle RV is like 85, I think. So he has had a nice long life. But... Um, if you have a chance to remember him, that's been heavy on my mind and heart here the last few days. So everybody has stuff going on in their families, right? Or in their lives. You just never know. So that's why I think it's always important for us to treat each other with kindness and generosity. Give each other a little grace. Um, because you just don't know what's going on in people's families and in their lives. Okay, this little bow, I know I was not on camera while I'm trying to make this floss do what I want it to do. If somebody has a suggestion for me, I am open to it to make this process a little bit easier. But I think it looks cute all fluffy up like this, so it doesn't really bother me. But if you guys have a suggestion, let me know. I may put a little strip or something there later, but we'll just keep going for now. All right, fun, fun. I was gonna show you if I can find a place to put it. Hmm. I don't know, a piece of string. Um, how one of these, depending on the orientation of that pink one, might have been really the only one that I liked that way. But this could make a little more shallow pocket for you or a side load. Um, I am thinking of these more like tags um, than pockets, but hey. Oh, and I haven't done anything with the cute envelopes or with these stamps yet. So we definitely need to add, add a stamp. So you get that out of the way. And you knew this was going to happen. I don't know if you guys can see what a mess my desk has become. I had lost my glue for a second. I saw this super funny meme. And it was like, you know you're a crafter if you own 12 pairs of scissors and you don't know where any of them are. And I thought, that sounds like me. <laughs> okay, how about I use this as a tuck spot. And then we put a little envelope in here. So fun. There's so many pieces that sometimes I forget what I'm doing. Um, I don't forget what I'm doing. I forget to use everything. All right, the crease line for this flap is right here. So whatever I put in this tuck spot, I don't want to go past that. And I haven't inked that for you guys, but I will. I don't know if this is the dauber I've been using or not. Okay, there we go. So we can see it. And I do remember recalling I was going to practice the good habit of closing my ink pad up, which I did. Now, on these envelopes, once you folded them up, I think it's pretty um, self-explanatory. But to glue it together, the way I do it is I just add a little glue to this part. Not on the flap, because the flap is taller than this little bottom portion of your envelope. And if you put glue up there, then you just have a mess. Cute. Um, I think this is going to need a, um, a glue dot. I kind of wish I had used this one to have a little more contrast. It's gonna need a glue dot to help keep it closed and it, it fits both ways. Isn't that cute? Let me grab a glue, not a glue dot, a Velcro dot, y'all. Listen um, to what I mean, not what I say. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite junk journaling supplies. I don't even know if I showed these when I did here, some of my favorite supply video that, that I got asked to make. Um, but if I didn't, I should have, because you guys know I use this in almost every project. 
Okay, now I think to make this even a little extra special and to help it pop a little bit, I'm gonna tie a little bow out of the seam binding ribbon. And I used this on some of the tags and stuff um, for this folio. I didn't use it on the original one. I wasn't even thinking about it. And then I realized, I think the red and the green that I dyed look cute with this paper. So I hope I'm not getting a cold. My nose is a little stuffed up. And I have a feeling, I have not looked at my watch or at the video, I have a feeling we've been crafting for a while. So I am gonna wrap this up here in just a minute, just a few minutes. All right, I want it on the little flap there. I want it up here. I think I want it up. And this is where the glue dot comes back in. All right. Just going to stick that on there. And of course, we put a, a little message inside. We could put a little quote inside because of how I installed the ribbon. It's going to go that way. All right. This folds over like this. This goes like this. I definitely wish I had something different to put in here. Ooh, look what we're going to do, y'all. All right. This is one of the freebie envelopes, but let's turn it into a tag. You could fold these over and just glue them to the back. I'm going to chop them off with what we have. Ah, I love it. Look. And then now we have a tall tag um, to go in this pocket and we can add a ribbon to it or whatever. We could mount this on cardstock as well. So if you've grabbed the freebie envelopes, this is a perfect size for all of these tall pockets that I've included in the journal right there. You can just chop it off. I'll do this one too. And what a great way to kind of finish up the videos, that discovery. And again, you can also just print some of the pages out extra. And you would have plenty to make tags and ephemera with. But I did not, I didn't even, I didn't print the kit even two full times to make both of these. So there's, there's a lot you can do with these papers. Um, and again, I would probably keep going and adding little pieces and, and fluff, and I probably will later. These are going to make great little tabs as well. So remember how I said if you don't have a whale punch and you want to have... Um, you want to add a tab or something, you could use this as a tab like this. Glue these to either side like that. And if you don't want them that tall, you can trim them down and curve them. But that would be a cute little tab too. Lots of different ways to use the different pieces in the kit. Okay, we've decorated the front. We've decorated the back. I think I like the back better than the front. I may add some more pom-poms later. I don't know, more ribbon, more bling. We'll see, more quotes. Um, tuck the rest of these in all the pockets and really make it look extra stuffed and fun, which is what I tend to like. Um, but if you don't, you know, I didn't even use hardly any of the stamps. I just used one. So keep going. Have fun with it. Make make one. Make lots. Use this um Use this little pocket I didn't get to somewhere and just have a great time. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, I hope everyone has a really beautiful day. Thank you.